Hi guys, this is Jen again from John Dam District. And bago ka ba sa aking YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe para maging updated ka sa aking mga latest videos. So guys, ang pag-uusapan natin today is all about manual verification ng inyong AdSense account. So by the way guys, please stay tuned at tapusin nyo yung video na to dahil baka mamaya yung sa mga tanong nyo is masasagot ko kapag magma-manual verification na kayo. So later, meron tayong frequently asked question part. So stay tuned and let's start! So ngayon guys, gagawin na natin kung paano makapag-manual verification. Of course, ang kauna-unahan natin gagawin is kailangan natin mag-login sa google.com forward slash adsense at yung adsense account ninyo. So by the way guys, makakapag or makakareceive lang kayo ng pin for adsense sa inyong YouTube account kapag na-reach nyo na yung threshold na $10. So again guys, bago po kayo ma-monetize or bago ma-monetize yung YouTube channel ninyo, kailangan nyo po ng 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 watch hours. So like for example, monetize na po kayo and then na-reach nyo na yung $10 sa threshold ni Google AdSense. So automatic po magsisend po sila ng PIN dun sa mismong in, um, address ninyo na nakalagay po dun sa inyong AdSense account. So ngayon guys, kapag nakapag-try na kayo, nakapag, nakailang recent na rin kayo ng inyong um, new PIN request, Pero wala pa rin. Kasi technically guys, if within 4 months at hindi mo na-verify yung address mo kay Google AdSense, mag stop yung mismong pag-show ng mga ads mo. So technically, hindi ka nakikita. So if that's the case, kailangan mo siya ulit i-reapply or kailangan mong i-verify ulit yung account mo. So anyway, umpisa na natin kung paano tayo makakapag-create um, ng new PIN. So guys, as what you can see sa screen nyo po ngayon is makikita nyo dyan yung may balance ako. And then this um, screen sharing or yung screen, nasa screen ko ngayon and then yung makikita nyo rin sa screen nyo, of course, ayan actually yung last year kong ginamit. So it was September 30 pa and then 125.84 kasi yung first na YouTube sahod ko. So later on, pag-uusapan din po natin yan. So ang gagawin po natin na umpisa is, of course, i-click natin yung tatlong action button and then just click help and then mag-open siya ng new tab and we just need to scroll down lang po and then click for pin troubleshooter and then after that, we will be needing to answer some questions so are your earnings greater than the verification threshold? Again, the verification threshold guys is amounting to $10 USD po. Pero pwede nyo pong i-click yung link ng verification threshold para makita nyo po dyan kung ano yung mga uh, required. Anyway, so I just selected yes. So next is have you received your PIN? So again guys, hindi ko pa nga nare-receive. So we will gonna click no. And then after that, there's another question. Have you already requested three um, replacement PINs? So what you need to do guys is maximum of 4 po tayo when it comes to um, pag-ask po ng verification PIN or ng new PIN. So click lang po natin yung yes and then as what you uh, stated here, you'll have 4 months from the date on which your first PIN was generated to enter it on your account. Kapag hindi mo nga po siya na-generate or nagawa, so technically sad to say mag stop po yung um, ads ninyo sa inyong YouTube channel. So now guys, is click lang natin yung contact us and then we just need to fill up the following information and which are yung name po ninyo, yung email address and then yung publisher ID. Publisher ID is something that you can actually get on your AdSense website sa inyong account mismo. You just need to copy it and then paste it po. And then the next thing that you need to do is to Attach your IDs. Guys, so I'll put the list on the comment section ng mga IDs na pwede nyo pong gamitin upon verifying your Google AdSense account. So for this video or for this tutorial, what I actually did is ginamit ko yung aking passport. So let's just click submit. Kapag um, uploaded na yung file. And there you go. It's uploaded. Click submit. Then the form has been submitted to AdSense. We'll try to get back to you within 24 hours if you're curious about your own account and requires an action from our side. However, it may take up to 48 hours or longer 
for them to reply. Pero guys, based on my experience, like for example, uh, today, today ko to ginawa yung um, pagkukuha ng bagong PIN or yung manual verification. Actually, the other day or the next day lang, nakareceive na agad ako ng notification stating na uh, meron ng payment na nangyari. Kumbaga, binayaran na nila ako and then I just need to wait for a couple of days para makuha ko yung sahod dun sa mismong bank account na nilink ko sa aking Google AdSense account. By the way guys, kung wala pa po kayong bad, uh, bank account, so click, check nyo lang din po yung description. Ilalagay ko din yung link na kung paano kayo makakapag-open ng bank account ng online and then isang ID lang yung kailangan nyo. That's actually through Union Bank. So to learn more details about it, just click the link on the description section para mas madali po natin magawa. And if you have question about it po, pwede naman po kayo mag-comment and I'm always reply. I'm always reply. <laughs> Nagre-reply naman po ako lagi sa mga comment section during my free time. Kasi may work din po kasi ako. So anyway, um, yung sa verification nga po ng manual verification, you will be receiving it as soon as possible. So within 24 to 48 hours, makakuha ka na ng response kung approved na ba siya or hindi. Malalaman mo siya kung approved, of course, may email notification stating that it was approved, and then yung payment notification dun sa makukuha yung sahod. So ngayon guys, let's proceed with the frequently asked questions. Okay, so ang first question guys is, paano daw kung yung address dun sa inyong ID is hindi nagmamatch dun sa nakalagay sa inyong AdSense account? Guys, you need to make sure na nagmamatch po siya kasi mostly sa mga kakilala ko, nade-decline po yung request nila when doing manual verification kasi nga hindi po nagmamatch. Per Google AdSense rule, everything should be matching from first line address to second line. Technically, complete address should be matching with the one that's on your AdSense account at yung nandun po sa inyong ID. Next question guys, ilan ba yung PIN na pwede mong i-request or ilan ba yung maximum PIN na pwede mong actually makuha? To answer it guys, that's 4 PINs po. So another question guys, after po mag-request ng ika-third pin, kail kailan na po pwedeng mag-manual verification? After 2 weeks or 3 weeks pa rin after ng mag-request ng third pin? To answer the question guys, based on AdSense rule, you need to wait for a month again. Pero yung iba po, isang ginagawa nila is, is, <laughs> is after 1 week or 2 weeks, as long as lumabas na po yung option, parang request a new pin or yung contact us, then pwede na po kayo mag-proceed with the manual verification. So again, Google AdSense um, rule is you need to wait for um, a month, pero yung iba po kasi is hindi nag-aantay ng a month, so they just keep on requesting for a new PIN, and kadalasan naman po is na-approve. Next question dito guys is, pwede kaya yung ID na walang address? Guys, kailangan po yung ID is may address, kasi po i-confirm po nila yon and then based um, sa Google AdSense nga po, they are verifying the address itself. Next question dito guys is, Bro, sunod-sunod mo ba ni-request ang PIN sa loob ng isang buwan or once a month lang po? Pa-reply naman. To answer the question guys, I'm parang by the book person kasi ako. So, I waited for months. Hindi ko siya ginawa ng week by week. So, technically, monthly ko siyang ginawa isang beses lang sa isang buwan. So that's it guys for today's video. Video. <laughs> so if you have any comments, suggestion, if you have additional question po, please just comment down below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe para maging updated po kayo sa aking latest videos. So see ya!